Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jasmine the Buffet Witch, and welcome to another Playing in Makeups with Jazz. Today I'm going to be doing a really pretty green look using a few products, and I had recorded this video but caught some audio from the TV, so I decided I'd just voice it over. We're gonna be using the Blend Bunny Cosmetics, the Blends palette. I'm going to be using my multi-chromes from Odin's Eye, and as our base, we're going to be using a green shade from my Made by Mitchell color case. This is the electric case, and I'm using the color High Viz. B I Z. It's a beautiful green, lime green shade, and I'm using it as my base. These are really nice. I really enjoy this product. I'm so happy that I have it, and we have to use it a lot more. I'm going to go into my um, outer V with a black, and I'm just going to kind of create my C shape, um, keeping it a little bit angled, but I want to keep it a little tighter to the eye don't blow it out too far because I'm going to go into the blends palette and I'm going to use a mid-tone green shade I believe the color is called remedy I'm going to use that green shade to blend out the edges of the black usually I would use like a brown shade or like a transition color but I want the whole thing to be very green but I didn't want to deepen it out too much further with that black or a brown shade so using that mid-tone green kind of keeps the depth while keeping the vibrancy. I'm just going to go between the two colors as well and deepen until I like the depth. For our shims, again, we're using the multi-chromes from the Odin's Eye. I'm using the green shade, um, and that's going to go on the larger or the um, mobile lid, almost the entirety of the lid, but keeping the very inner portion kind of clear because we're going to go in with the white shade, and that's going to go in the inner corner. Very beautiful combo of shades. They're so pretty together and on their own. And I love the way that the base from Made by Mitchell really pulls out the different shades. This is the green shade I'm talking about. And at a later date, I think I'm gonna have to go ahead, pop these shades out, find out what the names are, do some swatches so you know in, further, or in future videos which shade I'm referring to. But as it stands, I love the way this color looks next to the black. It's so pretty, so multifaceted. It actually took on a bit of a rusty gold, um, almost orange tone closer to the black, and I really, really enjoyed that. It's so pretty. But I am in this stage of wanting a very bright inner corner without using like champagne shades or tan shades and things like that. So I decided to go in with the white based shade that has a very strong green flip and it was just electric. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I'm so, so in love with this look. All right, so that's my little voiceover, guys. I will see you at the end of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the look. All right, guys, welcome back. It is me. We are done. Let's talk about this eye. First, real quick, for the lips, I just went very simple. I Doritos. It is so crazy, y'all. People just stay parking right in front of my complex. And I just be like, what is you doing? You gonna stop and give me some Doritos? Oh, now you leaving? Because I asked for some Doritos. Stingy. Anyways, a Dorito truck just stopped right there. Anyways, so <laughs> I wanted to go very simple on the lips, very comfortable. So we used my Maracuja Lip Plump in Primrose. Called it a day, but let's get into this eye. So, like I said, we used the Made by Mitchell electrics color case and we use this bright chartreuse chartreuse green shade as our base okay and um you're gonna hear some knucking and bucking and screeching and squawking my son it is nap time and he has to sing the song of his people and kick a few bars before he lays down that's that's his bedtime ritual okay <laughs> So we use this as the base and I feel like it really gave some extra oomph to the uh, multi-chromes that we used. And then the black shadow, just a basic black shadow, really played nice with the edges of that multi-chrome, which is the beauty of multi-chromes. It really depends on what you 
put under them, over them, next to them. It's a whole metamorphosis every time you use a specific shade. So using that green really helps to emphasize because this very bright electric green on the inner corner, uh, where's the palette gel? Is actually this white one here. Now, again, I would love to tell you what the names of these are, but I am not popping these out to find out. You know, if I were smart, <clears throat> which apparently I am not, I would have put the names up here. Um, I don't have a label printer and I don't want to become the kind of person that gets a label printer because I see how fun it is and I would be labeling everything. Things that don't need to be labeled. I'm about to get labeled. Okay. My son gonna get a label. Right on the head. Dom the Demolisher. <laughs> My son has so many names. One day I should tell you all the names I have for him and he's only two going on three, but he has a lot of names. But yeah. So this is the shade that's on the very inner port or part of the eye, and then this is the shade that's on the lid. I really like the way that this meets the black. It goes a bit rusty. I really enjoy that. But it's a very multi-dimensional look. It makes me feel like if I go to Renaissance Fair this year, this would be the eye that I wear. I don't know what outfit I'm wearing. I don't know what character I'm gonna be, but this would be the eye. Because every time I go to Renaissance Fair, I try to do something really, well, the last two times I do something very eye-catching, and it catches people's eyes. Do y'all hear this boy? Ridiculous. He always gotta be kicking his feety feet. Anyways, so that is the eye. Like I said, the black was just a basic black. I started with the black from my Moira palette, then I moved over to the black from the Blends palette. It's a black eyeshadow. And then I used a green to blend out the edges of the black so that it wasn't super heavy with black, but you have some depth. All in all, I think this is a beautiful look. I really do plan to use this more. This is a very multi-use, uh, fun product. And I could see, I, at first I thought about doing a wing with this, but whenever I add wings to things, especially like a very busy eyeshadow look, I feel like either the wing is pointless, it's not bold enough, or I have to use a color that is so contrasting to what's on my eye that it kind of throws the look off, makes it too heavy, makes it too much. So I said for this one, we'll just skip liner and we can do a whole liner series with these but i really enjoy these i said in a previous video i'm not sure if i've posted it already the only one that gives me pause is this pink one she kind of stink not as much now but she was stinking no she stank and the rest of the palette doesn't really smell like that. So I'm kind of worried about the shelf life on these things, but honestly, they're so good. If I do get to the point where I think that they are expiring, I'm gonna just buy another one, <laughs> okay? Being real with you. But um, I really do enjoy playing with these. Like I said, I've been having a great time with the Essentials palette. I've since put that back into my stash because I love it so much. I was like, we already know we love this. We got to use other things. There are still products that need to get into the rotation. So I put it away for now, but she coming back out because I feel like I can't do my brows without her now. Um, but playing with these lets me know that another product that I'm super excited to get my little, my little digits on, I'm going to enjoy. But until I get that product, we're not going to talk about it. But it's been me, Jasmine, the Buffet Witch. Um, thank you so much for tuning into this, this video. And um, I will see you in the next one. All right. You take care and hydrate. All right.